record button. Got some peeps coming in. Hey there, Lanaya, how are you? I'm good. Awesome. We have a, a special friend here with us today. Her name is Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Good to meet you. Hi. She's a new intern with us, and she heard us bragging about how much fun band camp is, so she decided to join us this morning. Awesome. Yeah. We'll wait just a couple minutes and see who else joins us this morning, and then we'll jump in. All right. Sound good? Okay. Okay. You know, um, I have a cousin named Sophie. Oh. You do? And is her name Sophia or Sophie? Or you, do you just call her Sophie? We usually call her Sophie. Yeah. Or Sophia, so. See, that's My name is Sophia too, but I go by Sophie. But when, when somebody is mad at me, sometimes they call me Sophia. <laughs> Do you have a name like that? Um, usually they'll use my middle name too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's how mine is, or they'll call me when they're being fun. They'll call me by my like family nickname, and then when it's serious, they'll say my actual name or my first name and middle name. <laughs> And my, um, my brother Gus is called Gussie, so. Oh, nice. I love that that's a universal experience for everyone, that when something is serious, they use your proper full name. The middle name means business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People think my middle name is like the real lane in the streets because I am Lanial Lane Drake, so I am proper used as a street. <laughs> I love that. Lanial Lane. That's cute. I bet there is a street named Lanial Lane. You should find it and go there and I, take a picture. I watch this episode every time it ends, it says like Lynn McCarter. So I use it uses half my name and I'm like, Lynn McCarter, you have <laughs> half my name. That's awesome. Uh, so I'm like in at school and when like we have substitute teachers or usually they'll call me Linio or Lynn or something like that because my name is hard to pronounce. So But your and name is so cool, Lanaya. Thank you. I know awesome. it's unique. It's such a pretty name. I know. Right. Mine, if it was on a small name tag, it'd probably not fit. Mine is like the seven letters. So mine are seven letters too. I was just gonna say you've got a long one too. Yeah. My name gets progressively shorter though. My first name has seven letters, my middle name has five letters, and then my last name has three letters. Mine is just long all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you're at the beginning of the alphabet with your last name, you know? Yes, right. I'm the, the, the future will not hold that. I will go to Z. Oh. Um, right. <laughs> yeah, I kept my last name when I got married because my last name is Rex. Yeah, no, that's name, a cool right? Name. No, it'll be Zamboni. Yeah, so that's I'm awesome. excited about that one. That's a cool name. Yeah. Yeah. My brother would probably say, Your your name, your Rex is the Toy Story character. I'm like, yeah. Uh, I have a t shirt that has him on it, actually. Awesome. I have tons of dinosaur stuff. I love it. It's my favorite thing. Yeah, that's Yeah, my awesome. my favorite mystical creature dragon. Dragons. dragons are awesome yeah so cool the one, the one i really wish was real is toothless oh, oh yes he's so cute yes. i love those movies so much he's, he's so a much. big cutie eyed little dragon i mean with his little puppy eyes he's like mm -hmm. i'm gonna look up at you and i'm gonna just have those little big puppy eyes at you and it's so cute and he's always smiling yeah he always yeah, wants to play. He, it just, he like hesitates. So loyal. To smile. <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah, especially in the first one, it cracks me up. He's like, wait, how do you smile? Wait, uh, eh? Eh? <laughs> it cracks me up every time. Yeah. 
Now I want to watch those. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. I know. Oh, yeah. We have watched all of them, and we're hoping that they do another one. But we're yeah. starting to think that they might not. But yeah. ends with people getting married, having dragon babies. I mean, sounds like a great ending for a movie. Yeah. But sometimes they figure out a way to make it keep going. Yeah. But, you know, they go follow the kids, see what the kids are up to. Yeah. Right. And they are some, I think they're like, they make... Um, an episode of them because I've watched like half the episodes and kids don't even know the dragons exist and they think they're monsters. Yeah. So one of the girls sees Toothless and her, his wife and says, I think I saw Toothless and there's like, wait, what? Yeah. So I've done that with I've Tangled. Seen- they had some like animated episodes of mm-hmm. Tangled that kind of go after the movie. So. Mm-hmm. Right. My brother's favorite part of Tangled is when Eugene gets hit by Pan. <laughs> <laughs> he likes the funny face he, he makes. He's like, it's a good face. I like it when they're at that tavern and they sing the I Have Got a Dream song. I yeah. love that part. Have you guys watched Ninjago? Lego Ninjago? I haven't. I've heard of it, but I've never watched it. Tell uh, us about it. It's uh, one of these episodes they, they do it um, and they're trying to do save like do like get the realm crystal a crystal that can go anywhere in the dimensions and so this ghost named moro and he's trying to get the scroll and stuff and they're trying to save it and on the ship the ship keeps rolling and rolling and zane a ninjoid is like half robot half person he gets like slid all the way back and he hits a box and he, he doesn't notice there's another box and it gets bunked on his head and he's like, boing. It, he just falls over and it's hilarious. That's funny. Uh, so we watch those every single day after when it's seven o'clock in the morning. Oh, nice. So it's a show. Yeah. I think I've seen, when I used to, I used to work at Barnes and Noble and I think I saw some like little books that they had too. Right. like companion books that went with it if I remember correctly right and usually when I read something about like how to train a dragon or something I'm like every day on like Fridays we watch the movies and stuff so I'm like hey guys I've been reading this book about how to train a dragon can I please can we please watch it and they're like awesome. mm, maybe I don't know because <laughs> Gus is not a big fan of it even though he likes to watch it he's not like he's like no, thank you. No, no. What a bummer. I know. And How to Train Your Dragon is one of those rare movie franchises where every single movie is good. Yeah. Right. Usually when they have a bunch of movies, like they kind of get less good over time. But How to Train Your Dragon is so great. Have you guys watched the Lego movie too? The, um, uh, the second part? The Lego I movie. I've seen the second one. Mm-hmm. We talked about it a lot of times. I watched it of Emmett and the um, Wild Style. Is that the one that has your that song you really like on it? Come together now. Yeah. 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 Well, I guess we'll go ahead and get started. Um, we'll have a good time, just us, if we need to. Have total faith in us. Um, It'll be great. So we'll say good morning. Hello and good morning. Hello and good morning. Hello and good morning. It's nice to see you today. Hello, Lanaya. Hello, Lanaya. Hello, Lanaya. We're glad you're here today. So today we're going to be making some paper plate 
tambourines. All right, tambourine is one of my favorite instruments. All right, so this is what like a mini tambourine can look like, all right? And then some tambourines don't always have a drum head. This one's a little small, but sometimes they just have a hole in the center. This one's actually a foot tambourine, but I also like to put it on my hand. So, but they all have little bells or chimes of some kind on the side to make it a little different than a drum. And so tambourines are another instrument that is so old that they're not even really sure um, where it came from, where it started, but they know that it came from, or it was really popular in like West Africa, the Middle East, Eastern Europe, and then Greece and Southeast Asia. In all these cultures, it was really important to some of their folk music that they did and their entertainment music that they were doing um, so that they did have uh, performances for crowds and make money and things like that. Um, and they also used it, um, Black and African Americans used to use it to, as a means of communication. You know, they would have different rhythms and beats yeah. to communicate different things. And they used it also um, in classical music. One of the first one people to use tambourine in classical music was Mozart. Um, he actually notated it and he was one of the first composers to do that. And it's pretty cool. Um, and then now it's in a lot of like folk and indie bands. They have like a specific person that plays tambourine. It's in a lot of ensembles. It just adds a little bit of color and flavor to a lot of the sound. So you can play it a lot of different ways. You can hold it and just shake it. You can hold it. And there's ways you can do it like this. There's some fancy things you can do where you like hold it and then you do like some cool like finger rolls and thumb rolls and stuff on it. But I'm not a professional tambourine player, so I can't do that. But that's something that the people who are amazing at it, all those folk and indie artists, they're really good at using it like that. So yeah. And now, like I said, it's all over the place and all different kinds of music. It's not just part of communication and, um, lost my train of thought, communication and folk and indie music. It's in all kinds of stuff, but that's just where it ended up going. It's in a lot of gospel music and a lot of bluegrass, all those kinds of things. It's a pretty cool. As too, I think. Yes. Yeah, you're right. And it's there, you know, kind of like the drum, it helps keep rhythm, but it also, like I said, just kind of adds a little, adds a little color. So it's not just like a drum where it's just like, it can be like, you know, it just makes it a little more fun. All right, so we have our materials. We got our plates. Awesome, we got bells or something like bells, sweet. And then we've got a hole punch or something to punch holes in the plate. Sweet. All right. And then we've got some kind of twist tie. I got a hole puncher. Nice. Me too. You got some kind of twist ties. Ooh, that's cool. Mine are sparkly. Are yours just, are yours red? Yeah, mine are just red. I love it. I love it. Are they soft or are they like prickly? Mine are are soft. Oh, I wish mine were soft. Mine are a little prickly. All right, and then do you have stuff that you're gonna decorate your plate with? Sweet. All right, and then do you have some tape if you need it? Sweet, all right. So I'm gonna see what your preference is, okay? Do you wanna do it where we do two plates on top of each other? Or do you wanna do one where we fold it in half? You get to pick, Lanaya. Which one looks cooler to you? Um, this one. 
for this one. I usually tried the two ones and it didn't work out for me that well, so I think I'll do folding. All right, let's do the folding. But first, we need to decorate. So, we gotta decorate our plates. I remembered my markers today, last week or the week before, I forgot them. I, remember. I remembered both. Well, you always have all your good stuff. Of course. You're, you're on I top of it. Down. I write mine down. I should. I just misplace things sometimes and I forget to put them back where they go. Hmm. What color should I use? Sophie, what's your favorite mythical creature? Lania said hers was dragons. What is yours? That is a tough question. I think I'm going to say mermaids. Oh, yeah. Mermaids are awesome. I'm, I'm really into the ocean mm. and ocean creatures. So I really like it. Mermaids I like, is the perfect one for you if you like the ocean. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I was thinking, too. My brother thinks big, Bigfoot and Launchner Sea Monster exist. Mm -hmm. Maybe they do. Who knows? No. Who knows? Scientists have not known to the underworld seas yet. Yeah. Of course, There's, I would I not go under that farm. There's a is. lot of the sea we have not explored. We've explored more of outer space than we have the sea. Yeah, that was what yes. I was say. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I love outer space. Space yeah. is very cool. when you can see the whole world underneath you. Yeah. One of my favorite things to do in coloring books is to color like pictures of outer space. I love getting to use all the different colors for planets and suns and stars. It's just fun. Right. Okay, so what's yours then, Miranda? What's well, it's a tough favorite? one for me too. Um, I think hmm. because I like mermaids, I like dragons, um, I like unicorns. Oh yeah, my, my one of my friends thinks unicorns are real, which they maybe are. Well, I have a theory that rhinoceroses are unicorns in disguise. Mm -hmm. Because no, hardly any other animals have horns like that, you know? So yeah, single maybe, one. Right. So maybe they're just in disguise. Hmm. It's hard to find them. Yeah. I'm trying to think. It's a hard question when you haven't thought about it lately. Yeah, it is. I think... Now, now I'm kind of like blanking out on mythical creatures. Let me, I don't want to misrepresent myself and say the wrong mm -hmm. thing. Right, Misre misrepresenting yourself usually is not a good yeah. thing. Yeah. Wise words. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm gonna have to go with dragon because there's a lot of other cool mythical creatures, but I think I'm gonna go with dragon. Because dragons are like 
they can be super sweet, like toothless, or they can be like, you know, uh, kind of scary, like on some other like fantasy movies. And so it's like, they can be sweet or they can be powerful, which I think is cool. A lot of times they're really smart too. They yeah. Like a wise creature. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But I like mermaids too. The little mermaid was like my favorite movie when I was a little kid. I wanted to change my name to Ariel. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Yeah. That's what I always played at the pool. Nice. Oh, yeah. When we were at the pool one time, I would play Little Mermaid. Be like a tiny little mermaid. You know, I've seen people like, um, have some, there is some, like, you could get these at the store and they're like little slip on um, mermaid tails and you oh, could yeah. get them you could just pretend you could just keep her on with them I have a blanket that's like that I was about to say I've seen that there are blankets where you can do that too mm -hmm. just so I look cool while I'm on the couch yeah live in a mermaid's dream <laughs> <clears throat> so if you were a mermaid, what would your tail look like? Oh, that's a good question. Ooh, I'd probably say black and pink. Black and pink. Ooh, that's kind of like a cool rocker chick mermaid. <laughs> Mine would be kind of stereotypical. It would just be blue and green because those are my favorite colors. But it would be like shiny. Tiny blue and green. That's what I was thinking. I think I want to be like purple holographic. Yeah. Now that's cool. That would be super cool. If you were a dragon, what color would you be? Ooh, now that I'd be the same color as Toothless. Don't need to um, think about that. Just jet black and yeah. shiny. That was where my brain first went too was the, um, the Vanta black color. Have you heard of that color? Oh yeah, the blackest black. To be like the blackest black. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you can't even see it. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. Usually that'd be the color I'd pick. So if I would usually pick any color. Mm hmm But I think it would also be fun to be just like a bubblegum pink dragon. Yeah. Because that would just be fun. Yeah. But you have to be careful because if you were looking like that, usually people would think you're bubblegum. Yeah. <laughs> I would be too <laughs> Oh, yeah. You wonder what bubblegum is doing up in the sky. Yeah, like, what is bubblegum flying? I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> If I was a dragon, I think I would be like light fury. I think I'd be white, but like kind of shiny, like holographic. I think that would be cool. Now that's cool. I'm trying to get a little more creative with my tambourine today. Usually you guys are way more creative than me when we're no, doing don't stuff. Take care. And I'm not that creative, you know. Yours always looks so good. What are you talking about? Yours always look awesome. I ain't no fancy good art artist. I usually just make up my own drawings. But it looks so good. Like every week I'm like, oh my gosh, look at what Lanaya made. All you guys, I'm just like, wow. I think I'm doing something super cool and creative. And then I'm like, oh wow, these guys are way cool. It doesn't mean it's not like a, I'm a drawing good artist. I mean, everyone has their different talents. Yeah, but you can still be creative, even if you're not a good drawer. Right. I'm not a good drawer, and I like to think of myself as creative. My mom was an art teacher, so it's disappointing that I am not a good artist, but I can do other things. I got other creative outlets. Right. 
Yeah, I, I can't draw. Her I can come what? up with the idea. And so my sister can draw really well, so just tell it to her. Nice. I do really good with coloring books. It's one of my favorite things. Yeah, my favorite thing is usually making up one. That's when awesome. See, that's very creative. I could never just come up with something off the top of my head. Yeah, neither can I sometimes, but I have to usually really concentrate to get it to my head. Yeah. So that sounds like the makings of a great artist. My my um, friend can make a really good like picture of plants and stuff. She can make it like. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> so she draws plants. You said. Yeah, she can draw very good. And she can like shade it and stuff. And she, when it, she's done, it looks really good. That's really cool. So she can draw people pictures of flowers and stuff. That's really, yeah. people are really into that right now. Yeah. Cool. Art. So oh, sorry, you guys. There are two cats right outside the window. <laughs> that was it. And my dog does not like cats. Now that is very sad because I love cats. They're so cute. <laughs> my family is a cat family too. We have five here. Wow. <laughs> I am more of a dog person, but I like cats. My best friend and roommate in college had a cat, and he was a lot of fun. And I miss him. I have, um, my friend has cats, and even though I'm allergic to them, I still love them. Yeah. That's the hardest thing. Yeah. Is your dog whining? Yeah, I, I closed her out of the room so that she wouldn't be barking so loud. So now she wants to come back in <laughs> so she can bark at the cats more. And I say, no, ma'am. She knows the rules that if she is barking or a pest while I'm working, that she has to leave the room. Right. And that's why I'm usually a cat person, because cats are not that loud. Yeah, that's I get that. I get the truth. We have some talkative cats. <laughs> you know, maybe I'm going to do a two-piece. Because I love my drawing right now, so I might even be wanting to design another one. Yeah. Or you can do two that you fold in half. It's true. You get two tambourines for yeah. one. Yeah. What kind of dog is your, um, what kind of dog is it? She is a lab pit bull mix. Ah. See, my cousin has like a fluffy kind of dog. Oh, yeah. They're good, too. My parents have a little mini poodle. Yeah, that's one of, one of my cousins has. She has like a fluffy kind of poodle. The dog that I had when I was younger was a puggle. Ooh. A pug beagle. Love it. Oh really God. cute and wrinkly, but um, he would still howl. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
he was cute. And his tail was like mostly straight, but it had a little curl like at the end. Oh, I love that. My dog's tail is really long, um, but at the very end, it's got a little white tip. Oh. Yeah. Dipped in pink. Yep, basically. We always say my cat who has, he, he has a, just white feet, the rest of him is peach. He, his, this is socks. Oh, I love that. <laughs> his name's Marvin. Marvin, I love it. <laughs> kind of a funny oh, name for your cat. But he came with that name. Look, I like it, I like it. What are your other cat's names? So the reason why there's so many is that um, all of my siblings are under one roof right now, me and my siblings. Oh. My parents. So my parents have um, Marvin, and then they have Toulouse and Cosette, oh. who they were like our childhood cats, those two. Marvin came a little later. And then my sister has um, her cat, my older sister's cat's Leon. And my younger sister's cat, her name's Luna. Mm -hmm. But for whatever reason, we never call our cats by their actual names. We call her, we call her Dooney. And I don't know where it came from. <laughs> Love it. And then my cats, who are not here, they live with their dad. <laughs> they daddy, she has two cats. Uh -huh. One is like a grayish and a whitish, and the other one's all black. Um, the black one is named um, Lucy. Mm -hmm. The other one is Milka. Oh, that's cute. Milka is of my friend because she, when I first met Maddie, she she became really interested in me. So. I, we, she, she's been a brat to Maddie because Maddie <laughs> is allergic to cats and she thinks she's a brat because she's begging for food, getting on the table. So she's, she calls her a brat. <laughs> and uh, my, my, my friend Maddie, she once found her, she was looking for Miyoko and she found, um, she found a lump on her bed. And she pulled over the blanket and she saw Miyoka just laying there fast asleep. Mm -hmm. Cats are good hiders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Well, I'm done decorating my first plate. Okay. I'm almost done with mine. Give me just a second and I'll be finished. My roommate's cat's name was Griffin. And he, <laughs> for some reason, loved my room when we lived together and he loved to just like sit in my closet and he liked to like take naps in my drawers. <laughs> so if we ever couldn't find him, that's where we would look. And one time he just like wouldn't come out of the closet. And so we both were kind of panicked like, oh my gosh, where is he? And he was just hiding in the closet, like under some clothes, just hanging out. And he loved to just come in my room and like snuggle me while I was like watching Netflix or whatever. It was very interesting. <laughs> I think maybe he just really liked Parks and Rec. Probably. And cuddles. Yeah. One time he was purring very loudly and like I could just like feel it. And I've never felt a cat purr like that before. And so I went and asked my roommate, I was like, is he okay? Like, He's like shaking and she was like, no, he's just like purring a lot because he really likes you. And I was like, oh, I've never felt a cat purr like that before. So I was afraid that he was like sick or something, but no, he loved me. Ah, you know, um, my um, friend's cat, she um, would go, um, she would follow Maddie and she would like if you were just stand laying on the couch and she she would just like sit and she would just look at you on the couch until you would pet the couch and then she'd be like getting all looks the ground and then whoa she'll jump right on the couch. Mm -hmm. That sounds mm -hmm. like my dog actually. 
she she'll get it like on my legs, and I usually like her like right here, because I like mm-hmm. to like pet her while watching a movie while I'm at her house or something. Mm-hmm. So like sometimes she doesn't like it when I pick her up. But I'm like I really I want you right here. So I pick she or when I pat like right, right here, she'll go right there and stuff. I'm like yeah. Or, like, if I'm having dinner at her house or something or lunch, she'll be, like, staring at me under the table and they will like, <laughs> purposely drop my food. <laughs> it's hard to resist when they're right there and looking cute. Well, I, I just gave her a piece of my McDonald's chicken nugget, and she's like, ooh, where'd it go? And she found uh-huh. it. I was like, there you go. Have a piece of my chicken nugget. <laughs> <laughs> so I just let her add it. <clears throat> yeah. She likes to be, like, little hogger to food so yeah cats can be like that they can be beggars too oh yeah they can I caught my cat um my cats are willie and nettie their brother and sister but willie is my my chunky boy and i caught him uh dragging a piece of pizza out of the box once oh my gosh whole piece in his mouth wow he's a stinger my dog, one time, I had my friends over. We would, like, watch the TV show together every week. And uh, we had ordered pizza. And my friend had a piece in his hand. And he, like, turned to talk to someone. And she jumped and grabbed it out of his hand. She had never done anything like that before. And we were just like, oh. We, we apologized so much. He thought it was funny. But we were just like, I'm so sorry. But, okay. So next step is we're gonna fold it in half. Which way? That way where this is like, it'll fold the same way kind of no matter what, but it's, so this is facing the top. I like that design, I like it. Thank you, thank you. I like mine too. Let's see. That looks so good. Oh. We've got a whole summer vibe happening. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I'm thinking that my next one's probably going to be a watermelon. Ooh, that That's would be so cool. cool. See, look how creative she is. I never would have thought of that. Yep. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you want to make sure that you kind of crease it wherever you want it to be creased so that it will stay. And then if you want to make sure it's secure, you can get a little bit of tape and put it on. You don't have to put it around the whole edge, but just a couple of spots. Like where? Just wherever you want on the side here that is together. You can just pick a couple of spots and put some tape wherever you think it'll look good. Mine's a gigantic piece of duct tape. There you are. On the end. Try for me to find and it. It'll kind of be like a, a calzone or a pizza pocket or a pita. Ooh, I'd say it looks like a pizza pocket, like one of those pockets mm-hmm. of pizza. I love the pocket pizzas. They're yeah. good. Yay. And then if you want, you can cut your duct tape a little bit too, so that if you don't want it to be as thick, you can cut it a little bit if you want. Yeah. I need to open up my finger buttons. I also love Jingle Bells, which is another reason I love this craft. Jingle Bells, Batman smells Glad that's still popular. That was popular when I was a little kid. Right? <laughs> Jingle Bell Rock is my favorite Christmas song, so. Justin, my brother, Gus, he says, like, he shot at she and makes me pee and Oh, my goodness. Day. I'm like, no, no, <laughs> no. It's Batmobile lost his wheel and Joker got away. Hey, Dude. 
<laughs> all right, you got it all folded? Yeah. All right, so then we're gonna get our hole punch. Yeah. And you're gonna punch a couple of holes. Um, you can do kind of as many as you want, but you don't wanna do too many because you don't want there to be a ton of holes in your plate. Oh, you're, gonna, cool. you're gonna do it along the edge here. May take a couple of pokes to get it to go through if yours is thick like mine. Yeah. May use one of my things to help push it through. Yeah. Whoops, I almost dropped my scissors on the floor. There we go. That these are hard. The whole punch. Yeah. You gotta use all your Hulk strength. Ooh. There we go. Oops. But the payoff will be worth it. You might have to do it how Miranda's doing it with using both her hands on either side. Yeah. With one hand, it might be too hard. That worked a lot better for me when I started using both hands. Oof. All right, you good? Yep. All right, so then if you want, kind of like with our tape, you can get some string or your twist ties and kind of tie them on in a couple spots to make sure that it sticks. But you don't have to do that. And if you don't want to do that, then what you do is you're going to get your twist ties and you're going to poke them through. And then and then you're gonna put on your jingle bells. Oops. We lost your video, Lanaya. Yeah, I know. Okay, just making I sure. I got a couple of scissors because I couldn't get the whole point for sure.
back. Good. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. And when you're putting on your twist ties, it's better if you can get it a little bit closer so that you can make sure that the jingle bells stay on. Wanting to use these twist ties the whole band camp, so I'm very excited to get to use them now. I lost a jingle bell. Now I am wishing I had not punched so many holes. Why? Just a lot to push through, but it'll be okay. I'm almost done. The more holes, the more jingle bells. That's, that's exactly why I did it. I wanted a bunch of jingle bells. <laughs> Oh, we were talking about mythical creatures earlier. Next week, we're making a pan flute, which pan is a mythical creature. We can talk more about him next week, but I just remembered that. What's a mythical creature again? Pan. Pan? Yeah, his name is Pan. Pan, a mythical creature? Yeah, Pam, like you cook with. Oh, I am so excited about my jingle bells. Wow, it's already 10.51. Time has flown by. Okay, so we're using twist ties, like, are we using these now? Yes. And we are putting on our jingle bells. Yeah, you're gonna poke them through your hole that you made with your hole puncher and then put them through the jingle bell and make sure they're pretty close to the plate and then twist them on. Okay. And then you probably are gonna need to maybe cut the edges of the um, twist ties because it'll have a lot of extra left over once you get it attached to the plate.
Something else you can do, Lanaya, if you make another one, if you want to have extra sounds, you can use some of the beans or rice that we've been using in our other crafts, and you can put those on the inside of the plate. Kind of like we did for our ocean drums, but you just don't put as much, and you have the jingle bells attached. Just adds a little extra in there if you want it. And then here's mine, all done. Looks good. That's awesome. I love all the sparklies on it. I can't see it super well on the screen, but yeah. There we go. Pip cleaners are some of the most versatile of craft item. Uh -huh. They are. That's why I always call them, call them pipe cleaners. Yep. <laughs> Me too. Added some more sparkles around the edge because it was needed. How's it going, Lanaya? It's going great. Awesome. I can't wait to see what it looks like. When I bought my bells at the store, they were called craft bells, not jingle bells. Hmm. Very odd. And even when I asked for jingle bells, they were like, oh, the craft bells are over here. I'm like, what? Jingle bells. Ooh, 
I love that. Are your bells different colors? Yeah. I got a green In different shapes. Blue. I'm so blue. jealous. Those are awesome. In different shapes. Do you see the one that's like a cluster of little ones? Yeah. So yours oh, like, like Christmas lights. That is so cool, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. All right. Do you remember how we said to play them? We can shake them, just normal, or we can. Yeah. And this one, you can make it look kind of like a fan. It also kind of looks like a fancy taco. <laughs> All right. Well, this was awesome. I'm excited about this one. I, I, I feel like this one is my most creative. So I, I feel pretty good about it. <laughs> you know, I built um, a car out of cardboard. Oh, wow. That's cool. It was made of paper plate and a cardboard box, and it actually worked. That's awesome. Another example of your great creativity. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So we'll sing goodbye, and we'll do what we do every week. When it's your turn, we can give it a shake, and we'll have a little solo. Sophie, feel free to just uh, clap your hands. <laughs> oh, you got one. Perfect. Mine's also a half one. Perfect. Goodbye, my friends. It's time to go. Goodbye, my friends. It's time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must say goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sophie. It's time to go. Goodbye, Sophie, it's time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must say goodbye, Sophie, goodbye. Now you get a solo. All right. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, Lanaya, it's time to go. Goodbye, Lanaya, it's time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must say goodbye, Lanaya, goodbye. All right, solo. All right. Goodbye, Miranda, it's time to go. Goodbye, Miranda, it's time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must say goodbye, Miranda, goodbye. Well, goodbye, my friends, goodbye. All right, awesome. Oh, we're done. <laughs> All righty, well, there you go. All right. Thank you for joining us.